hey guys welcome to crafts by dot we are so excited to have you on our channel where we do share content on diys woodworking and home improvement so in this week's video i'm going to show you how i created a minimalist diy textured canvas and this is a very inexpensive diy project that anyone can try at home as you all know getting a pre-primed canvas is very expensive so in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create your own canvas at home and add texture on it if you enjoy DIYs, make sure to watch this video to the very end. I had this old canvas art that I felt was no longer functional for my space. I had several options on how I wanted to create it, but one day I stumbled on the house we built page on Instagram and saw this large textured art on their entryway. I fell in love with it and after a little research I realized I can recreate mine inexpensively. To start the project I removed the old canvas fabric so that I can reuse the frame which was in perfect condition. Once I was done, I gathered my supplies, which included a cover mat immersion from Basco Paints, a staple gun and canvas fabric, which I got at 300 shillings per meter in a shop along Biashara Street. I then laid my fabric on the canvas, trimmed it to size and started stapling it on the wooden frame. I kept pulling and stapling the canvas to ensure there are no folds. I folded the corners nicely and stapled to secure the edges. I then trimmed off the excess fabric. Once it was complete, this is how it looked like. I then took my cover mat, poured a portion of it in a tin and added water to reduce its thickness. Once it was evenly mixed, I took my brush and spread it over the fabric until it was completely covered. The reason I was doing this is because the canvas fabric comes in a soft white color and I wanted my art to be in brilliant white color. Painting the fabric also gives it strength to hold up the filler. I let my canvas out in the sun until the primer was completely dry. Next I took my three scrapers which I will need to create the texture on the canvas. On the red bag I had my filler which I bought at a nearby hardware for 100 shillings. I then added it to the remaining paint since I was not going to use it soon. After adding some water, I mixed it until I had a thick paste.
With the canvas clean and dry, I smeared the paste with a scraper until the entire canvas was covered. I then took a smaller scraper and created some random shapes with the filler. I kept repeating the process by adding more paste and using different sizes of scrapers until I was satisfied with the results. The good thing with this project is that there are no rules, you create whatever pleases your heart. I let the paste dry a little bit before adding the next layer of filler. This is the texture so far and I'm loving it. I did a little bit of spray paint to add some tiny gold details. In between these projects, I was working on another project which had me having some fill at my disposal. I decided to add it on the artwork to make the texture more visible. I realized this was a good chance to remove the golden lines in the middle of the artwork which I did not like. Mind you, I'm doing this almost a month later. As the artwork was drying, I made a floating frame from the workshop and painted it black and then screwed it in place. We then hung our textured canvas on the wall and the result was amazing. I couldn't imagine that we could achieve such a gorgeous artwork for little cash. A few tips I would let you know however is that the thicker the mud the more visible the texture. Also you can seal your texture with a paint to make it a dear more. I added our sign at the end of it all because why not? So this is the final texture that made us happy.
Thank you for clicking into Crafts by Doty. If you want to see more of DIY content on this channel, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future uploads. Until next time, goodbye.